In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically publish audio podcasts to over 50 smart TV outlets using a service called the Binge Network. The first thing you need to do is go to the connections page and connect both your podcast and your binge channel. So first I'm going to do my podcast. I'm going to choose podcast from the list, say add connection. I'm going to give it a name, Hanny's Podcast. Now here's where you got to paste your podcast feed. I know my feed. I'm using Ellipson for my testing. If you don't know your feed, you can simply go to Google, type in the name of your podcast, uh, for example, Bad Boys of Tech is on the latest podcast, and put the word iTunes in there. And usually the first result will be the iTunes. Go ahead and click that, copy that link above, go back here and paste that right in here. And say connect and it's going to check make sure you didn't type by having typos or anything so we see the word success means you're good to go the next step is you want to connect your binge channel so choose the binge network add connection give it a name any name you want again and you need your binge channel url so if you go to the binge networks.tv do a quick search uh, i'm going to search for repurpose that's the name of my channel and you'll see a bunch of videos. Now the key is to click on the name, not the actual video, but the name, and this will open up your channel. Go ahead on top and copy that URL and paste that right inside here. Hit connect. Now it's asking for your username and password. And this is your username and password for your binge channel. This is for your binge account. So I'm gonna click log in. And if everything's good, it should say success. Now the next step is to go to the workflow page and make our first workflow. So workflow, you start off by giving it a name. So for example, a handy podcast to binge. This could be any name that you want. I'm going to choose my input as my audio podcast. And that's my name as my podcast, Handy's podcast. Next. Um, next step, I'm going to convert my audio into a video. So this is an audio podcast. So I'm going to convert the audio into a video because the binge channel requires it to be a video. Now I have two options. I can do a full episode or I can do a snippet. For this tutorial, I'm going to do the full episode. I'm going to say next. And finally, I'm going to choose Annie's binge channel as my output and create my repurpose workflow. To tweak what the video looks like, choose a template, upload your own template and a few other settings. You need to go into the gear icon so you can adjust that workflow settings. We're not going to cover the details in this video. There'll be another video on that. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to publish the episodes. So you go under view episodes. You should see every episode in your podcast feed and you should see thumbnails, publish date, etc. All you got to do is hit publish and you have a chance to tweak the title, tweak the description if you want. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and hit publish now. And it goes into queued. If I hit refresh, it will enter processing and a few minutes later, it will be published. And when the video is done, you'll see a new icon. You can preview your final product on your binge channel. So when I click on that, if you click it too early, meaning that you click it a few minutes after the processing is done, you may get this error and it's totally normal. It doesn't mean the video failed. It just means the video is still processing on the binge channel. So give it time, give it an hour, give it maybe two hours, depending how long your video is, and then try this link again. And the last thing I want to show you is how to automatically publish every single episode without having to click the publish button manually. So if you jump back to the workflow, you'll see a button called publish mode. By default, it's on manual, so you can pick and choose your episodes. But if I turn this to auto, it's going to automatically add every single episode to the queue so that it just processes every single episode. But even better, the next time I publish an episode to my podcast feed, I don't have to log in to repurpose and click publish. It will just happen automatically. If you like what you're seeing, head on over to repurpose.io and try it for free today.